Oh. Yeah. Oh no, he died! Oh Jesus Christ! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Series Sam 4. We are currently on the mission Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Now before we move on, I do have to say real quick, um, in the last saved file when I had just ended the last episode, something happened. I, I don't know, it, it, I don't know if it was just corrupted or whatever, but it just, it wouldn't load properly. Um, and so what I had to do was just go into the missions it, themselves and it just hit chapter three. So. I have a feeling that this probably might reset my weapons to a certain extent or something like that. Hopefully it doesn't, but I don't know for sure. Um, we'll just have to see and I don't know. But anyway, we are on the third chapter, so let's do it. Step on it, we got bonies on our tail. <laughs> Ezekiel went to the Valley of Bones. Ooh, nice shot. And the Lord said to him, Nice shot. Can these bones live? Nice. And Ezekiel said, Nice. Oh Lord, they will obey your commands. <laughs> and that's how you do it. Thank you for rescuing me, friends. You're welcome, Father. But we still need to get you into the Vatican Library. All right, team. Give me some options. Rome sealed tighter than a virgin's buttocks. Uh, sorry, Padre. Jesus um, Christ. Uh, wheels are out. Hellfire, what about wings? No way. It's like the annual Octanian Raider convention up there. Fräulein Hellfire is correct. Unless Vesuvius were to erupt, enemy control of the airspace will remain absolute. Yes, yes, that's it! But we'll use Vesuvius, just like in 2010, when they used HARP to trigger that volcano in Iceland and brought down all air traffic in Europe to stop the Illuminati from getting out of Belgium! Ridiculous! The HARP is the high frequency active aurora research program. It is not an earthquake machine. Oh, well, that's what they want you to think. Nonsense! I would know about such a device. Actually, it is an earthquake machine. Verdammt! <laughs> uh, wait, I'm right? Yes! I knew it! And now he'll never shut up. Thanks. <laughs> we called it Project Rock and Roll. A powerful experimental weapon designed to provoke seismic activity. It hasn't been used in years. But I've got the access codes. But sir, the targeting system is down. We need to manually place beacons to realign the satellite. Then the team just won an all expenses paid trip to beautiful Pompeii. Nice. It's crazy. It's impossible. I love it. Let's do it. Sam, I need the team to place eight beacons. Holy I've crap. uploaded the target locations to your Nitrixa. Okay, guys. All we need to do is take these doodads to their designated locations. Rodriguez, you go north. Kenny, west. Jones, do the stadium. I'll take care of the south. And you know the drill. Last one back pays for drinks tonight. Yep. On it. Moving out. <sighs> I'll be in the car. <laughs> okay. All right, so I guess I don't have to place all eight. Um... I probably gotta do like two or three or something like that. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, it took my AR away. Dang it. Oh, and I know why. It's probably, it's because I found it like during a side mission when I was helping the guys out on the roof. So that probably means we'll get the AR again at some point. Oh, ammo depot. That's fine, I guess. We're not that far into it, so it's probably not that big a deal. I just gotta watch for the corrupted files and make sure that that doesn't happen as much as possible. 
Oh, another depot. Sweet. Hey, Hellfire. What's it like being on the ground again? Kind of boring. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is a little bit worse without the AR, gonna be honest. But. It's not that bad. There we go. Ooh. A little too close. Okay. What are you doing back here? Let's get this stuff up here. Of course. Ooh, that was pretty good. Okay, there's... Yep. I was just trying to blow him up the whole time. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, life gadget. Alright. What do we got here? Why do I keep running into locked oh, doors? Oh, jeez. Bad look. You're always going the wrong way. Doors hate you? Increased security in war zones? I, am I the only one who knows you shouldn't answer a rhetorical question? <laughs> no, sir, I... Oh. <laughs> yeah, Kenny. Oh, there's Hey, peace. guess what I found? More rhetorical questions? Jesus. No, I found some more damn keys. That was a good one. Whoa. How did I miss that? Sorry, it doesn't matter. Still caused a pretty good chain reaction. Okay. There we go. I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> All clear. That was me killing a clear, by the way. <laughs> See, rookie, that's how you do a one liner. And he didn't even lose his shoe. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's never going to hear the end of that. All right, we got another side quest. We got to open the door. And it looks like there's just a bunch of goodies. I'll do it. I'm going to try and do as many side quests as possible. Just because I want to. So, adds a lot more to the game. We <laughs> just... He was just sitting there, like, looking at me. Okay, we're good. Some of the textures didn't load in too. I just noticed that. They're taking a second. That's a pretty shot right there. Look at that volcano.
I guess now I can use the deagle a lot more now though. Going for them headshots. They all go, Nice. Okay. Oh, looks like that's the key. fire everywhere. <laughs> the way they run is so funny. We got them accuracy shots. <laughs> I can't English. Oh dear. Blow each other up. Update. I'm okay. I'm more <laughs> I'm okay. than okay. All good. Well, a horde of clear attacked the car, but now I'm bored. <laughs> well, sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, Jones. <sighs> what now? <laughs> tell us a joke, Jones. Rodriguez. Come on, man. Tell us a joke. I just did. Damn, got him. New gadget, maybe? Ooh, yes. Rage Serum. This ergogenic compound allows a soldier to enter a state of euphoric rage, making them stronger, faster, more agile, more perceptive, and more resistant to damage. Unfortunately, it eventually wears off, though. Claims that overuse may cause sterility are entirely unfounded, as this issue has never been researched. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> cool. Uh, anything else in here? N wait, nope, okay. Hey, Hellfire, is it true about you and Sam? Is what true? You did it in the helicopter while fighting all oh the over base. Dude, come on! Don't be stupid, Rodriguez. Hey, it's just what I heard. There were no harpies in Beijing, you moron. You believe everything you're told? Sorry, sorry. Really? That's what you... Wow. Okay. Uh, whatever, dude. The comm link is open. Like, Sam can hear this. <laughs> Jeez. 
Jesus. Oh, that was a bad idea. Honestly, now that I'm using the Deagle, I appreciate it a lot more. Ooh, 50 armor. Nice. Yeah. Oh, there's no more. No, you don't. Mm -mm. Never let him tell you that story. <laughs> Ever. Hey, Hellfire. What? Rodriguez, shut up. Thank you, Sam. Finally, someone told the guy to freaking shut it. <laughs> God. Surprised he hasn't just shot him already. <laughs> Here, radio. As you know, it's. Yeah, I'm not gonna listen to it. Ooh. A note. To Commander Pasolini. I probably said that wrong. We escorted Stein out of the dig site. He says he has, he has all the information he was looking for. Claims it would lead him to a discovery that would change the future. He's a bit of a bastard, so this better be worth it in the end. We've been under siege for hours. Russo and Giordano are dead. I don't think we can all make it out of here, but if Stein is telling the truth, his life is more valuable than mine. I'm gonna create a diversion, draw the enemy's fire while Moretti gets Stein to the chopper. I suppose this is my Messino Marina moment, except Marina never dies. <laughs> Please take care of my dog, Alessandro. And we got a pair of keys. Alright, is this a side quest or something? Yep. Oh, we gotta find him. Alright then. Let's go find him. Hold on, let's, let's see if there's anything in here first. Oh, yep. I expected there to be something there. Anything? Yeah, surely there's got to be more than that. Am I able to go... Okay, yeah. It's just more armor. My armor's full. Alright, well... Okay, so we gotta go this way. To find Alessandro. Jesus. This is either the world's worst nosebleed or something I should look into. Nosebleed? I don't even think it would create a puddle like this. This is like someone got ripped in half. Yeah, this is definitely something you should look into. Yeah, and then it just goes away. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Oh dear. Dang it. Almost 100% accuracy with the headshots. Almost. That's a pretty shot. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, he died. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
And then this one's just chilling. Nope. Nope. There we go. Oh. There we go. I wasn't expecting this one to come up from the hill just yet. Because they were checking out the commotion. Oh. You didn't... Oh. I do actually like the, that mechanic. Like, they go and run to their fallen comrade and be like, what's going on? And then they figure it out. And, oh. That guy did it. And they start chasing me. Holy shit. Okay, there's a lot of enemies in there. Sit down. Honestly, I think Alessandro's oh, already dead. There are way too many enemies in here. Right in the face. What was that? I think a kamikaze ran into me. And I just didn't see him. Oh yeah, he came from over here. Shut it. This one just chilling back here. He's like, I gotta hurry, I hear him coming. We got a scrappy. Or big boys. I think that's what I used to call them in three. I just called them big boys. Nice. I like the soundtrack. Yep, there he is. I kind of figured he was already dead. Nice. Sorry. Grenade launcher attachment. This grenade launcher attachment can be mounted onto the single shotgun, allowing the user to launch grenades as a secondary fire option. Cool. Hey, dude. Your war's over, but mine's still going. Yeah. Rest in peace, buddy. Wait. Oh, I thought that was like writing or something. Ooh, let's test it out, shall we? Oh, dang, okay. Pulled it out too late. Whoa, what was that? Oh, get away from me.
Whoa. That was a little bit messy at first, not gonna lie. It's because, mainly because when I'm switching weapons, when I go from the deagle to the shotgun, it automatically goes to the double when I think it would normally go to this one first, but it's also because I'm using the mouse wheel. I don't use the number pad, so sometimes I just get mixed up in which one I have first, but once I get the hang of it, it'll be fine. Aim for the head. Back on up for a second. <laughs> that everybody? Alright, cool. Alright, let's go place this first beacon. So yeah, see what I mean? Stuff like that. Doing the side quest, now I have the grenade launcher. Beacon number one. Bacon set. Bacon. Bacon. Bacon? I shouldn't have skipped breakfast. Oof, yeah, bad idea. Oh boy. Replitoy. <laughs> Good old Replitoid. Is that a wizard lizard or a lizard wizard? <laughs> Did See that hurt? Later, magic gator. <laughs> that was a pretty good one, actually. Oh my god! Timed it perfectly. I can't see. Can't see shit. My gosh. I'm covered in so much vomit. I 
I need some health. Sam, I'm heading into Rome with Father Mikhail. We'll stay put until Project Rock and Roll goes live, and then we'll push for the Vatican. Copy that. Good luck, guys. Sweet. All right, we found some health and stuff. Shells, grenades on shotguns. Oh, okay, perfect. So, you do get the ammo with that. They're like in bigger shotgun boxes. Cool. All right, we got the first beacon placed. I think that's a good spot to call it in this level. I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit longer, so... With that being said, thank you guys for watching this episode, and I will catch you in the next one.